Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Max Mears and welcome to my Rust video. Today I have for you an experience that many of you have probably been through as well. It's wipe day. Well, not quite. We're on a monthly wipe server, but it is Thursday and we are looking forward to playing some Rust. We decided to play a monthly wipe server because we can really take advantage of all the massive bases, loot and potentially decayed base loot. Not to mention that pretty much every player is running around 4k, 8k, so. Why craft stuff when you can take it off someone else? I sit back and enjoy. Yeah, come on, my mama told me One day I'ma grow up big and I'ma be a king And my papa told me It's okay to say my shit hurts Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this we had a rough start, as many people do on wipe day. Everyone on the server is out to get loot, and whether you're naked or in full gear, it seems everyone is out to get you. Lol? Hello. I thought we just died to the landmine, damn it. Bro, you just killed me a minute ago, really? Like, I'm naked just running from the beach. I'm just trying to get inland and build a base. <laughs> wow, there he is again. Oh. <laughs> Max is having a good time, yes? I'm gonna start I just got spawn killed by a DB. I didn't even get up. Again? I just died. I just died. Like, I literally I didn't even respawn. I just died. It wasn't long before I managed to make it inland. Just get a little bit of stone. I need like 200. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's a 2 million stone nodes around here. My question is, do we live here or do we live in the snow? We can live on the outskirts of it. I mean, building here isn't too bad, I don't think. Now, setting up around the shore is a terrible idea because that's where everyone spawns and all the small bases are. For the good grease, you gotta get in land and you wanna be near a monument. We tried to get as close as we could to the airfield. I'll get a wooden door crafted or two. Little, little baggy. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready to face the world. <laughs> it goes out swinging. <laughs> Uh, the air is thick out here. By chance, this happened to be within a few blocks of where I had been slain multiple times by a certain individual. The individual that lives mm -hmm. in, I think it's this space here, right in front of me, this two by two right here. <laughs> and I'll do whatever it takes to get rid of him. Oh. Ah! Did he hit you? He's got shotgun drive on him. Is he actually? Hit him once. Yeah, that's right. Close your door. I downed him. <laughs> Wooden door, but he's got metal on the inside. Is that him? Uh, could be. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's him. <laughs> what do I spawn outside? Yeah, this is him. I remember my screams of anguish as he laughed and killed me. I want to just take a moment to thank all of my wonderful, wonderful patrons. This channel wouldn't be around without patrons supporting me for years now. If you're interested in even just the lowest package for an ad block forgiveness, that's $2 a month and it helps make videos like this possible. Thank you. Oh, he's coming back already. Oh, wow, look at it. <sighs> me and Ma, me, Cleaver. Mm -mm. Friends till the end. Hey. Okay, yeah. well, this is him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... See, I just want to introduce you, you know? Yeah, I would know. I want you guys to be friends. With my early thirst for vengeance quenched, it was time to get on with the wipe. Uh... I think oh. oh. Ouch. Headshot him. Headshot him again. Even meds ridge. Yeah, you got med stick. Nice. Med stick? Oh, I need it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and craft a furnace, probably. That's so lit. That, that's so aflame. That is like a vibrant fire in your heart. My dog got his hands on some camembert. Oh, he's... Farts are gonna Cameron. stink, mate. Hey, what? Dogs love cheese, don't they? They do? Yeah, it's like a universal law, like, just like cats love Heinz beans. We brought home just enough metal to make it worth leaving the furnace on, and with an incredibly heated debate about fruit going on in my Twitch chat, Mango's rank? You can leave, sir. It was time to go and farm more materials. We settled in this area because it was flooded with nodes. And in my opinion, the best way to get started is to get lots of materials, get a comfortable base, and then focus on collecting those much desired fleshy nodes. Por favor, mm -hmm. senor, do you have code log? Oh yeah, there is a gooseberry. 
Okay, well, we just need like metal and stuff and the base is coming along quite nicely. The base is in a very comfortable position, but without any players attacking us, we'd be foolish not to let up on the farming. After retrieving another full inventory of nodes, it was time for these birds to leave the nest. There's been a lot of shooting in the general area, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. But Ty and I are confident gamers. Something like a, a player with a weapon isn't gonna bring us down quickly. That was at me. That was a you. roof camper with an AK. Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm so sorry, Ty. I don't really think there's anything I can do about it. Yeah, I don't really you took think everything, even my carrot. Really? Holy shit. What a little grubby grub. I'm running away. After I heroically left Ty to die, I decided that someone's got to bring the bacon home. And there's a lot of bears nearby. But Ty, of course, was still distraught over what happened. Why did he even take... Bro, that's toxic. <laughs> okay, continue the trip. Don't make my death be in vain. There's like two polar bears here. There's three polar bears here. Oh my god. I'll maybe take a cross here. I probably wouldn't take everything just because I'm hoping that he's got an inventory of farm. Oh, just, these bears just run off in every direction. But I want to get these bears and just get home with them. Here he is. It'll be very useful for the leather, actually. He's right on top of where you died, pretty much. <laughs> oh, my legs. This bear is off to Africa. He's not even in his own natural habitat anymore. Oh, mm. jeez, Rick. <laughs> oh, he saw me. The tree blocked my shot. Oh, he's low for sure. He's really low. He looks like a stone node now because he's so white. <laughs> Come back here, boy. I am a node. I am just innocent node. Leave me alone. He's just going for it. At least I can still see him. Look fucking David Attenborough tracking a polar bear through the fucking <laughs> Arctic. Watching, like, to, just to make a program out of it. Oh, he turned brown? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe we're talking about this, you know? Black bears can be brown bears, brown bears can be black bears. Why can't polar bears be brown bears? This is true. With some semblance of success under our belts, Ty and I were over the moon. Oh, bollocks. Some guy's attacking me. Is this you right behind up? I can see the... He's, he's crouched looking at me before I even left my base. I, I've got nothing, dude. Gee, thanks. Wow, that's, that's nice. Th thank you so much. Stop, man, man. Stop. Go, go, peace. 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 I'm your neighbor. You just gave me all my stuff back. Oh. Can I kill you? I assume so. Bye. He even gave me the animal fat from the bear. I'm very confused. I'm very, very, very confused. I'm running straight to the house. You know what you do, Max? You say thank you and I'll be on my way. I didn't even say thank you. I just ran off with everything. <laughs> just, <laughs> like, ooh. Before he changed his mind, I was like, ooh, ah. Ooh, uh, friendly players in Rust? No way. My thoughts exactly. Let me just let them build up a bit before I raid them. <laughs> I don't know. He's running out with a crossy. I don't think he's like that, that advanced. Finding a friendly neighbor in Rust is like finding an honest politician. It doesn't happen. So joyous as we are, we always expect some sort of ulterior motive. But for now, we're going to be friends with our brand new neighbor. But I've still got a question on my mind. I'm still confused as to where that animal went. The polar bear. He's got to go home eventually just found a boar maybe he killed this boar oh no this is where i killed the bear as well actually low grade early on is probably the most difficult resource to get there are six or seven ways to get low grade trains you can just straight up buy it smelting crude farming animals using that big big diesel fuel canisters that you find at monuments over at the low grade pump track and that's just five off the top of my head completely unscripted there's probably another way that i'm forgetting but early on it is incredibly difficult to get an abundant amount of low grade and that is the time where you really need it most so after the snow i went to get more polar bears i know there's a lot of them out there and underneath dome there's a bunch of crude oil barrels if that fails okay bears prepare for an extinction event like you've never seen day bear ah. bears nocturnal they they hunt in the day i'm looking for some ass hey there's a bear over there 
Maybe you need to hunt animals in a car. This is the second of the three bears. All right, I need him to sort of attack me and then I can work from there. Oh, God. Ah, oh, I killed one. <laughs> that was so much work. There could be crates on top. I can't really tell from here. Let's let's loot the dome. We haven't got any components. The stone nodes and stuff, there's plenty around the base. Like we, can, we can get the nodes anytime. I don't think everyone's really looting stone nodes anymore. I always check that because there have been quite a few times I've just found a few hundred low grade in there. I have a barrel smasher. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh. Damn it. We can even get Tommies and stuff out of this. This is a pretty good one to loot, I reckon. Oh shit, a Jackie? Oh, really? Who does that, man? Who loots the good stuff out of a box and leaves everything else? Is anyone in here scared of heights? Do you automatically, is it the same in games? Cause my friend is, who's terrified of sharks, like fucking terrified. And fair mm. enough, you know, if you're scared of something, a shark makes sense, it's a, it's a vicious predator. <gasps> oh, there's a guy here with a gun. Lol, I just got a free gun. We need to stay oh, okay up here. I'm gonna nick all his shit. He got up? Why did he get up so <laughs> quickly? Oh. Oh, that happens sometimes, I don't know why. I that killed him and he went straight back down again. Like, he fell, fell down the cliff though, so I can't really loot him now. Oh, maybe he's waiting for the craze to respawn. What a little gamer. <laughs> it's the most rational fear. Yeah, like spiders are also kind of rational because they can kill you, right? Hmm? I think being afraid of spiders is very rational. Yeah. Because you, you can it's die to a spider. There's a lot of spiders that can kill you. Same with snakes. A lot of people are very, very, very afraid of snakes. So I'm not scared of snakes or reptiles in general. But like, I think if I got bitten by a snake, I'd be pretty terrified. Terrified. <laughs> I panic as well. I'd be like, she. <laughs> I don't want to die. It's I want to be in life. What? Yeah, I think there's a lot of rational fears, but I wonder if that converts into games. For example, I'm pretty scared of spiders, but I'm, I'm scared of spiders to the point where, like, when I was a kid and I watched that Harry Potter film, and you know, there's massive spiders running around, and that mm -hmm. shit me up. In general, I don't ever think I've really been that scared of them. Like, if, if there's a spider in the house, you know, you, you gotta be the man, right? You gotta get rid of it. Can't just burn that room or cordon it off and say, nope, never going in there again. Oh, yeah, Ill. See, Ill. it's not like it's Australia. Nothing can kill you. Yeah. There, there are no spiders in England that can kill you. Yeah, so, like, the thing, the thing is, like, you'll, you could, you could, most of the time, you could just let spiders walk on, on your hand. Oh, yeah, and even if they bite you for, for whatever reason. And, and a lot of them, actually, as well, can't even penetrate your skin because it's so thick. No. It's, it's why it's not really a rational fear in England, at least. Like, it's not like it's going to hurt you. Like, they can't really hurt you. After successfully making it home, it was time to make use of the jackhammer. Where, you, where is this? Where is... Wait! <laughs> I just I wanted to kill that something! Voice. I just Wait. wanted to kill something! I went out not once. There's a guy here. Oh my god, he's building. What is this, Fortnite? What's going on here? Not twice. Here you go. For three times and brought home full inventories of loot. Stone is incredibly useful for us right now, and a lot of people in the area don't seem to be farming it because they're more focused on metal and sulfur. Metal and sulfur would be great for us, but we don't really have large furnaces to cook all of the metal, so for tonight at least, we're focusing heavily on stone, getting the base to a large and comfortable size where it doesn't get offline, and tomorrow is more of a metal and sulfur day. That's not to say we don't need to collect metal and sulfur, because Ty went out and made a little bit of a play and brought home a couple of tier 2 guns for us. Hey. <laughs> So yeah, how did you kill him? Uh, bow. Really? And did he have, uh, was it just one guy? There was two of them. And you should kill two of these with guns with a bow. Well, one, I, I hit one twice and hit down, and then I hit the other guy three times and got down. Damn. So one of them was half health and one of them wasn't quite uh, full. Nice, dude. Okay, so you're probably wondering, wait, he had the SAR before he showed us the clip of him getting the SAR. Well, um... It just made the video flow better, so don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, I went out and got another full inventory of loot after getting that loot, loot, and, 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 and look at the boxes. Oh, God. What the fuck is that? Hello, why? Um, 
I might expand the base. Did you manage to get any wood in the end? Mm -hmm. Rust is a game of opportunity. If there is a raid nearby, you can go and counter it. If there's no raid nearby, there are no raids to counter. I know this sounds really, really stupid, but when there's tons and tons of nodes around and there's no one attacking you, you just found a jackhammer, you have to go and farm it. Oh, we have like two large boxes and a, two and a half large boxes of stone, metal, and sulfur at the moment. With Ty's wood and my literal fixation on farming every single node in the area, we're able to expand the base quite healthily and quite quickly. This thing is like huge. I, I don't think I've ever built such a big base. I didn't even say anything about his girth. He just, just walked up and into it. It's big. But it could be bigger. With our massive success in the field of raw materials, the scrap has been lacking. We don't really have the blueprints to support our huge amounts of stone and sulfur. As much as we would love to have about two and a half, three k scrap right now, get a compound down, get large furnaces, cooking all of this, we're simply not there yet. The weapons we have, we can't even afford to research. The ammunition we have, we can't create more of. We need some successful runs, and with the base that is secure with code locks, now is the time to go and do it. Hit me. Take your hat off. Hit me. <laughs> it makes it easier. <laughs> Hit me. Oh, oh come oh. on. The two shots to the face. But we need, we do need scrap more than anything right now. We're off to somewhere to do something. Barrel collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, the science is below. Should we try and get the cards? Try. I don't really know how to oh, get greens. But down below us? No, you know. Oh, in the middle building. Got you. I know where. Oh, he's hard me thumping. Oh, he's right next to me. That's not weird. Oh, man. Got him. Nice. I think it's just one. Oh, he's stacked, yo. Oh, bollocks. I need to, like, I need to ditch Excellent. some loot. I'm going to put all his stuff in the grinder. I think I got all the guns. I don't know about taking your gear set though. I, I, I can just leave the stuff here to grind. I'll come check you a Hazzy. Uh, right, I'm, I'm dropping you meds and a Tommy and ammo and a Hazzy there. I'm going back to the grinder. We've got like 450 scrap here, give or take. Yo, 500 scrap, we're gonna make a tier two. I think I heard someone else. Yeah, I do think there's someone else there. I, I'm pretty sure I heard another. It sounds like he jumped or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. He's, he's there, he's there. Oh yeah, so it's kind of mm. greedy, but you'll have another gun for us. Uh, I can, I can, I can do it. Yeah, well, I'll back you up. I'll stay nearby. He'll definitely be going into where the recycler is. Oh, there he is. You him? Pop. Yeah, he did. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, he had a powerful python. So. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get out of here. We'll be back for the rest of the scraps. Me. I reckon we get a tier two down and just start like researching the guns and stuff so that we can keep PvP in. Just like I said, we went ahead and got the tier two down first. Typically, I like researching things on the tier one. Getting some metal tools is always really, really important. But because we don't really need to buy down to revolver, getting the tier two up means that we can get salvage picks and axes so we can farm a little bit easier should we lose the jaggy. And of course, it means that we can use the research table to get tier two to guns, bullets, med syringes, all researched and actually be able to craft them. This is only something we do if we already have a couple of guns and as you can see, things are going quite well for us and we're winning fights. So thank you so much for watching part one of my series. I'm glad you enjoyed. Pardon me. Again, a huge shout out to my patrons and thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.